how exactly does Verizon do their C-band upgrades? How do they do their modifications for their towers, bringing them up to date, adding tons of capacity? I have that answer for you here in today's video. Uh, back by popular demand, we did a similar deep dive into a tower upgrade for AT&T and how they were upgrading their towers with C-band and N77. Let's do the same thing here with Verizon. All right, so this was shared to me from Zach, community supporter, a longtime viewer. Thanks for sharing this. He got me the permit for this tower upgrade, which is in Fort Wayne, Indiana. American Tower is the owner of the site, and you have to put in a you know, request for upgrade. You got to give them the whole schematic and how you're going to do it. So here it is, the permit. And I think he said that this was going to be completed at some point in the late fall, and it was going to be started in the summer. So who knows, maybe like a July or August start date, and then they'll get to upgrading. It's going to take a couple of months. So I don't know if they're constructing a new monopole or if it's pre-existing. Uh, looking at the image, it, I don't know, there it is right there. It's a site location. Then you got it right behind there and in this enclosed area. All right, let's look at some of the technical aspects of this upgrade. All right, so you'll see what, what's being modified, the locations on the rack where they're putting the antennas and the radios. And then here is the, you know, showing all the sectors, the alpha, beta, gamma, three sector setup. And then here you'll see what has been on there and the upgrades that are going to take place. All right, so you have AWS utilizing, uh, you know, that Spectrum Holdings as well as there's actually two types of AWS being listed here. And they've got separate, uh, separate gear for it, I suppose, based on this listing. Uh, but you'll notice that they've got all the other bands identified. So you got band 13, 700 megahertz, band 5, 850 megahertz. And that's going to be DSS. They're going to do it for LTE and 5G as shared spectrum. Then you have PCS also on that same setup, 1900 megahertz or 1.9 gigahertz. So that's going to be what's going on there. And then in terms of the newly added stuff, all right, they're going to be adding CBRS here. And it looks like they're going to be grouping this all on one particular set of antennas. And these radios will go like probably right behind these antennas. All right, so you got 700, the 850, and then you have the 1900 as well as the AWS and the CBRS. That's interesting. I wonder uh, what that gear will be because is that going to be the N48 future upgrade? that we might see. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, then you've got, if you can see it here, 5G L sub six. This is in regards to C band. You'll see band 77 D. That's, that's the end. That's the C band. All right. So this is getting CBRS and C band. This is going to be a fast site. I'm hoping for at least one gig backhaul. I think that's probably, you know, expected, but if they could go multi gig backhaul, that would be great you know, uh, 10 gig circuits and stuff like that. You can do millimeter wave with that type of capacity. All right, so here's the radio setup. You can see all the different bands that go with each of these radios. Notice the Air 6449 panel here. That is a all-in-one integrated setup with the radio and the antenna. That's what we're seeing with the uh, Ericsson, as well as I think the um, Nokia gear and uh, the Samsung gear. They put it all in there, one single thing. So this happens to be uh, the... Ericsson setup. You've got the radio built into the antenna panel as well. Air 6449, uh, band 77 DC band. So it tells you all the specs. 200 megahertz uh, in terms of bandwidth. You can get EIRP up to 79 dBm. I think the most they're broadcasting right now currently at Verizon, I think is either 62 or 65 dBm. So plenty of headroom there if they ever wanted to turn it up. I guess they could. I think legally through the FCC. I think it's set at 72 dBm. I'm not sure. Uh, 320 watts of RF power. So this is really powerful stuff. 64 by 64 for the antennas. All right. So this is, you, you get your whole suite of features, all, all your theoretical, you know, speeds and all that. Uh, Eric's in the gold standard of C-band, in my opinion. Uh, Samsung's pretty good too. I don't know about Nokia. I haven't really tested it yet. What do you guys think of these upgrades? You guys glad to see how Verizon is doing? Sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more if you like these types of videos. And uh, check out all the things in the description that are going on with the community. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.